Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, May 21st, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Zoners Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. NDDA again today with yet another great addition to one of his tools. This time, probably one of his best well known tools, Oli Dump. Oli Dump, uh, well, uh, used to uh, dump information from OLE files. Turns out that uh, message email files are also in that format. So the tool works out of the box quite well with them. And yes, you know, there are converters that uh, will convert your message email files into inbox and you know, something a little bit more standard in that sense but what you can do now with Oli dump is thanks to a message summary plugin it will actually create a quick summary of the email messages with things like headers and probably even more importantly attachments you can even dump the content of the attachments as part of a json output file i mentioned that json output format yesterday uh, because it also was about jpeg files in pdfs uh, yesterday this time it's attachments in emails which of course now are always of interest so uh, with this tool you get in a small little command line tool the output of these attachments for further analysis even identifies if any of the attachments are hidden or in line so next time you got a message file to work with, well, uh, you have your tool here to help you analyze them. And Tenable today did publish details regarding a vulnerability in Fluentbit. Fluentbit is a monitoring service used by most big cloud services, also in private clouds uh, like you know, VMware and such, you often see it being deployed, deployed uh, for its scalability. And apparently there were 3 billion downloads of uh, this particular uh, software as of 2022. The problem is that an API that's available in order for users and administrators uh, to check the status of the service has a vulnerability in the uh, trace endpoint. This trace endpoint is used to check if you have any traces uh, set up or uh, to retrieve output from these traces. Now, even if you don't have any set up, uh, the endpoint is still available and is exploitable. It's a relatively straightforward vulnerability in the sense that the endpoint does expect a string, but if you pass it a negative or positive integer, well, a memory corruption happens and this can in the simplest form lead to a denial of service, but can also lead to cross-tenant data leakage. And in some cases, it may actually lead to code execution. Given that this service is so widely deployed and also uh, the affected uh, functionality here is usually accessible even to normal users, this is certainly a critical vulnerability. Patches have been released. Now, as far as exploits go, uh, Tenable does have a proof of concept for a denial of service exploit that I guess you could use in order to check if you're vulnerable or if you have deployed the patch correctly. And then there is a good write-up from Horizon 3 AI regarding a vulnerability in Fortinet 40 seem. This vulnerability was patched last October, but it was a perfect 10 when it came to the CVSS score. So with this blog post now, we actually have sufficient details to easily exploit this vulnerability. I just want to say thanks to Horizon3.ai to wait a couple of months before actually publishing all of these details because the exploit is not really all that difficult. You basically have to construct a specific XML payload that you're going to feed to the uh, vulnerable service with essentially just the command that you would like to execute as part of the payload. So if you haven't yet, this is your very, very, very last chance to 
apply the update and well likely it's going to be too late by the time you are actually listening to this podcast. But well, not everybody is so lucky to get that much time to patch their systems. We also got a proof of concept and a detailed analysis of the Git vulnerability patched last week, as well as a proof of concept and analysis of one of the Google Chrome zero days that was patched last week. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks again for listening. And if you haven't checked it out yet, remember Sans Fire is coming up and I'll be teaching our Defending Web App class. Talk to you again tomorrow and thanks. Bye.